now. Dark Swarm d down now, but I think Ogo will be able to dodge out of that. There's nothing to pin him in on the opposite side. Uh, and it looks like he's going to be able to take those Zerglings out. Looks like they're... Oh, Firebats died. That was huge. And uh, two, it looks like two Scourge getting caught out there in the open. This uh, this hatchery might go down, but there is one Lurker there as well as additional Lurkers alongside. Now it's four Marines, and now it looks like the Zerglings going to be able to clean this up. Uh, surrounding now, yeah, able to take it out. I think those are Adrenal upgraded now. So now Gogo in big trouble, as you can see, floating out with that science vessel above those lurkers, just irradiating what it can. But uh, he needs to get an additional expansion. He's just absolutely getting starved for resources at this point. Uh, and, and Rumble in a very strong economic position. He has three gas now. He can really support that additional hive tech uh, with the defilers, and especially if he keeps it on cheap units. It looks like he's level one armor now, uh, and two engineering bays down, so he might be able to catch up as far as upgrades go at this moment here. It looks like he's going to try to expand at the bottom left-hand corner. And th now the question is, is will they get spotted out or not. And he, he again is leaving with this, these medic marines. I think he should stay at home base and he's kind of spreading them a little bit thin there. Uh, he is compsatting. It looks like he's doing a good job compsatting catching Rumble out there. He doesn't have a lot of compsat to spare though, keep in mind. Nice uh, radiate on that defiler right there in the middle of the map. Dark Swarm going down and Rumble once again pushing in. Now this is the problem. As you can see, his medic marines are separated from that additional expansion. It looks like he's trying to open up his front door. Ooh! Scorch pushing in. Able to take down a science vessel and that's huge. Science vessel, so much gas. So Gogo -Go managed to open up his front door but at the cost of that bottom left expansion and that is not uh, that is not an equivalent trade. I think he would have been off leaving that blockade on his front door and just leaving those medic marines at the bottom left hand base and just kind of uh, stepping in there. Uh, and now as you can see ooh, a dropship out but it looks like it's been spotted by Rumble. Keep in mind there are Scourge out there so they're going to be somewhat vulnerable here. Yeah, Scourge out in the field and uh, Rumble in the meantime, oh, uh, trying to catch and it looks like Gogo, interestingly enough, going to try to do a one-two punch here. Uh, again, it looks like level three Carapace is uh, upgraded now for, for Rumble, regathering up those Medic Marines, in, but there are Scourge in waiting. He's going to try to push up right across these lur this Lurker line. Ooh! Uh, Marines getting killed there without even a comm set. Zergling's pushing up, now pulling back. Uh, we'll see if these uh, these get irradiated here. Level two weapons, though, uh, is now upgraded on the opposite end for Gogo, and we'll see. Maybe if he can get a hit, maybe take down that Hive Tech, maybe he'll be back in this game, but uh, otherwise it looks like there are Scourge waiting for him. Looks like uh, maybe he'll push up those science vessels and try to lure those, uh, try to lure them. I, that he is in fact doing that. That's a brilliant maneuver by Gogo, -Go, uh, using those science vessels to, to tempt those scourge back, and then pushing in with that drop shuttle around the backside, gonna just use a distractionary attack. Uh, all scourge taken out. Those lurkers as well. Those lings gonna have to fall back on that ramp, and now he's back. He's dropped backside on that hive. Uh, but and oh no, there's ultralists out there. He's gonna be able to get that evolution chamber down, but he needs to get more down than this. He needs to do some massive damage with his attack, and I just don't know that he's gonna be able to get it done. Ultralis pushing in. It looks like they are. They do have that Carapace upgrade. Uh, so those are very dangerous. They aren't speed upgraded yet, though. Pushing in. He is going to be able to take that hatchery down. Uh, but so, uh, poof. But it looks like he's going to be cleaned up by this Lurker uh, Ultralis combination here in the meantime. Uh, and let's see if he damn No, it did not ma do to any additional damage there on the backside of the hive. He only got the evolution chamber down. And I think he needed to do more damage with that attack. Because uh, he basically just sacrificed. Oh, no. He picked up uh, and dropped. It uh, looks like somewhere else with uh, just a couple units there. Trying to do as much economic damage as he can. To, kind of, to basically pick it up, uh, Rumble expanding a three clock location. This is, honestly, I don't think that's going to uh, that's going to help him out all that much. He still needs to expand himself. He can, uh, and that Ultralist doesn't look like it can quite get back there. Uh, to finally, actually pushing around to that corner, finishing off that Marine and that uh, drop shuttle effectively neutralized at this point. I don't think there's any units left in it. Two science vessels pushing out once again, and this is the thing: is is I'm good. I would. I'm surprised that he's going with SK Terran. That Gogo's going with SK Terran. A couple mines again put out in the field. Because uh, part of SK Terran is, is just getting out an overwhelming amount of science vessels in your in, in your battle groups. Essentially, is it's it's not so much the medic marine groups, and it's it's basically having those science vessels to radiate ultralists out in the field. When you don't have the gas, uh, you just can't get your science vessel force up. So I, I I would expect a push away from this on this map. And those ultralists getting irradiated out in the field instead of the defiler, which I think is the wise maneuver. Oh, Scorch pushing up though, able to take out uh, an additional science vessel there. Socialists extremely gas heavy. Uh, so man, when they're just not doing any damage out in the field, they can there can be a significant gas cost. But Rumble in the meantime has five expansions. Uh, is basically controls the map at this point. Gogo -Go, uh, cannot seem to get an additional expansion down. More Scourge being produced to deal with those science vessels out in the field. So just I'm surprised he went with tr trying to go for an SK Terran strategy. I just don't think it's very effective on this map. I think Terran players are going to have to adapt away from it. And that's kind of the interesting thing on these maps that without that gas at the secondary, I think both players, both Protoss players are going to have to move away from the Bisu build, which is pretty much the standard uh, 
uh, kind of Protoss versus uh, Zerg build, as well as Terran are going to have to move away from SK Terran uh, additionally, and so we'll see how that adapts in the near future. Rumble has a huge amount of Ultra Lisks out in the field now, uh, and it looks like he's starting to push up, and he's going to run right up that ramp. This is a nice battle point, though, for Gogo, just because it is in the dark. Ooh, Science Vessel taken out, though. Uh, additionally, looks like a uh, nice Dark Swarm there, uh, kind of in the blind up that... Uh, up that uh, <laughs> up that ramp though, and it looks like the Ultras are getting spread out a little bit, but still into that Dark Swarm, so still in a very good position. Gogo allowing his forces to get it split up a little bit though, I'm sorry, Rumble is, and uh, they're not going to be as effective when they are split up like this. Uh, it looks like four Ultras, as you can see to the left, at uh, a large Medic Marine groupings that are spread out, not keeping his units underneath the Dark Swarm, which I think he, uh, which, well, honestly, he is losing this fight in micromanagement uh, terms, but uh, he can afford to. He can afford to just keep his macro management up, uh, and just uh, kind of not even bother with these uh, little infights, uh, because Gogo essentially does not have any additional expansions down. Uh, Gogo's still pushing out, and as you can see, now just the reinforcements mopping things up. He ended up losing a lot of Ultralists there, which could have it could have basically ended the game right there. Uh, which is, so just a little bit of a mistake on Rumble's part, but now as you can see, Gogo pushing out. Zergling's going to spot that, though, so Rumble is going to be responding very quickly here. Uh, yeah, pushing down with the Ultralists as well as the Lings. And... Uh, yeah, he can just keep putting up the pressure, and I, honestly, uh, yeah, it looks like they're descending. They're going to try to get back to the main base. I don't think they can defend that third expansion at this point. They're not in a really a, a good position to. So that that additional that new expansion from Bogo, from Gogo can't talk all of a sudden. Uh, going to go down just here in a second. Yeah, as you can see, the Ultra is now there, and it looks like a uh, Rumble in the meantime going to expand to the nine o'clock location. Just going to take over economically. That base is now lifted off, and Gogo at this point has to call GG. He's been out of this game for quite a while here, uh, and my guess is we'll see it as soon as these. Uh, wow. He's got a lot of fire bats in there that deal with the Dark Swarm, though. But he's probably going to call GG here just in a moment, because Rumble is just such a strong economic position. If you actually take a gander to the bottom right-hand corner of the map, you can see a 1,000 minerals uh, versus 85 there. And so Rumble actually not doing a fantastic job with his macro management, but uh, as far as producing units, but still in a much stronger position than uh, than Gogo is, where he's completely out of resources. His main probably dry, secondary is also probably dry, uh, and that's I think that's his last battle group, essentially. And I don't think he can hold an additional expansion with that battle group. So anyway, now it looks like the Zergling's starting to push in. Uh, it's only a single science vessel left, and that's not going to last long with those... Sorry, excuse me, with those those uh, Scourge out in the air. Yeah, pushed up front, that uh, Science Vessel going, going down very rapidly. These Ultralists pushing in, a lot of Fire Bats to greet. That's a lot of Fire Bats. Uh, in really good position for Gogo, and actually looks like Gogo might actually win this fight here. But again, it's not going to be enough. More Scourge pushing up, going to be able to take that second Science Vessel down. And actually, no, it looks like Gogo, or I'm sorry, Rumble is going to be able to come out with this fight. Uh, so so looks like he's going to, Gogo is going to GG suddenly. Uh, can't talk there. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for listening. I'm going to be interested to see how these matches on this map go in the future. So it looks like uh, Rumble's going to advance to the winner's match. I'm going to see Gogo go to the loser's match. Uh, and I will continue with this set. Thanks for listening, guys.